Those airports bracing for record crowds this upcoming Thanksgiving travel season. Chris Adegui is live at DFW this morning, and we're hearing some new concerns about understaffing, maybe putting passengers at risk, Chris. Yes, Mark, you know, now we're a couple years removed from the pandemic and air travel this holiday season expected to be one of the busiest on record. And that is causing concern from aviation experts who worry about this industry that is still understaffed, particularly in air traffic controllers who are working longer hours. The National Transportation Safety Board warns that the strain and fatigue on those controllers led to several near disasters on runways across the country this year. In fact, the FAA said there were 23 close calls for planes nearly colliding on the runway here in Texas. You may remember back in February, the case in Austin where a FedEx plane came within 100 feet of landing on a Southwest flight. Our sister station in Austin reports there were five such close calls in Austin within the last year. On Thursday, the issue was discussed on Capitol Hill and the president of the Air Traffic Controllers Association told senators that they're being overworked. This leads to fatigue. Last year's controller controllers at 40% of our facilities worked six day work weeks at least once a month. And several of our facilities require six day work weeks and 10 hour days every single week. Air traffic controllers, not easy to simply beef up the staffing because they are, they are required to retire at age 57 and also hiring new air traffic controllers is a process that takes five years of training. Mark and Kara, back to you.